Now, if I go back to company and industry data, I'm just gonna show you uh, really quickly a few other ones. Economist Intelligence Unit, it gives you a summary profile of countries around the world. It's kind of like the CIA Factbook. If you don't know about the CIA Factbook, it is a, a, a website by the CIA that gives you public information about different countries around the world. But we also have the Economist Intelligence Unit. Um, we have, let's, let's, I'm going to zip down here to Ibis World. So this one is an interesting one to use, Ibis World. Uh, if you click on connect, it sends you to this. Uh, and this is one of those classic industry reporting databases. It covers many industries, uh, usually U.S. industries, but I'll, I'll talk about the different coverage. Now, when you get into the Ibis World system, if you just browse down, notice here how you have these different reports and they're filed by industry code by North American industry classification code Nikes. so if I want my pet stores four five three nine one pet stores right here right so I click on pet stores and I get access to a 40 ish page report about pet stores in the US yes I know if I could find a system that gives me this kind of detail for Canadian industries I would buy it but I can't so I'm stuck using this US system because I can't find the Canadian one that's affordable so uh, yeah you're gonna say well the Americans are kind of like Canadians but not that much but I mean hey read it use it it's still gonna be good let me show you a few things about it that you're gonna enjoy lucky dog pet owners will invest in premium products as disposable income rises well that's a pretty good prognostic from the get-go now, even if you're just interested in Canada, this is still a good report to use because look at this. This is just the summary page, products and services segmentation, right? Now, this is the American segmentation for products and services. And well, I would just infer that it's very similar in Canada. So pet stores spend about 50, uh, I mean, the 58% of sales in, in pet stores is pet food. That's a pretty important statistic to know about the pet industry, right? You have pet supplies, which is about 27, 30%. Pet services, what is that? Grooming, other types of that. And then live animals was only about 5%. So if you want to have just a store with live animals, that's going to be a rough business because you may not get the volume that you need according to these figures, right? Because most of the volume you get in a pet store is the pet food. So this is gonna give you a, a very interesting snapshot of an industry. Even though it's the United States, it, it does give you very interesting intelligence, right? And then off you go into the different parts and then you have a lot of text and figures and graphs. So even though it gives you US information, it's still kind of interesting, right? Just for your knowledge of what's going on. So this one is Ibis World, right? And if you're on campus, you don't have to pay for it. So never, you don't have to pay for Ibis World. A couple of things about Ibis World beyond the, the set of industry reports that are very, very interesting, like just tons of them. Uh, you may want to check out Global Industry Search, right? Because we have access to global industries, big industries around the world, right? And here they are, global industries and the Chinese reports. Okay, we've bought the Chinese reports on Ibis World. So you can click on China and get the reports that Ibis World provides for China, that part of the world, right? I'll let it load. This is just giving you an idea of the international ones and then the Chinese reports are coming up in a second. There we go. This is for China, right? So that's kind of cool. So another interesting thing about Ibis World is uh, Yes, you do have all of these reports uh, by Nike's code, but at the very bottom, you have an additional set, which are specialized industry reports, you know, which, you know, may have some more off the wall business ideas like sleep disorder clinics or golf cart manufacturing. Okay. These are not strictly speaking Nike's codes, right? Uh, or like nail polish manufacturing meal replacement products, right? So you may want to check out this list because you could actually have some interesting, uh, some interesting, uh, like, you know, some interesting like ebook publishing, right? So if you go to the, the publishing, the, the industry code for the publishing for regular books, it covers regular books, physical books, distribution chain and all that kind of stuff. But if you just want ebooks, this one could be also interesting. 
So just, just to mention the different kinds of reports that you have. And you have online retail, 19 different types of reports, right? So you may want to check out this specific subset, which doesn't fit directly into the Nike scopes. Okay, just so you know.